everyone. I am back again. I hope everyone is doing well today. I know I am. So today I am going to be doing my last week of November. It's going to be the 23rd to the 30th, which if you're from America, you know that this week is Thanksgiving slash Black Friday week. So that can be a very enticing week to spend. So let's see how I did. Um, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Ileana and I am doing my debt. This is your first time here, hi, my name is Ileana and I am on my debt-free journey trying to pay off over $108,000 in debt, which includes credit cards, car loan, and student loans and it's slowly but surely happening. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. I'm getting closer and closer to getting under 108, which will be a very happy day. Let me zoom you guys in just a tad bit so we can see the day. All right, so the 23rd, the 23rd I didn't have any I didn't have any bills, which was great. And I didn't do anything because I was trying my hardest not to spend this week. So I'm gonna be putting my no spend sticker there. The 24th, I didn't have anything due that day and I also didn't spend. So my week was starting off very well. I was very excited. Now the 25th, I believe, well, technically, I usually have my student loans, but they were deferred, so I technically don't have anything due that day, at least until January. So for the time being, there's nothing due that day, and I didn't spend anything. So the 26th, Thanksgiving, my personal favorite holiday, out of all the holidays, even more than Christmas. Probably because I celebrate my birthday three days after Christmas. Who knows, but I've always had a love for November and Thanksgiving, so that is my favorite day of the year. So the 26th, I did buy some things. I actually, I forgot to pick up soda, which this year's Black Friday, I mean, Thanksgiving was very weird because for the first time in recent memory, at least, as far as I can remember, Walmart was actually closed. And that just surprised me beyond measure. I have never seen Walmart closed on Thanksgiving. Publix, yes. Walmart, the store that's open every day, even on Christmas day was a surprise. So beyond surprised at that. I was, I did forget to pick up some food, some sodas. And I was, I went to a couple different stores that day to pick up some string beans, you know, string beans. I didn't realize that Walmart was gonna be closed. So I went to Dollar Tree I was able to find a can of string beans, but my mom paid for that because that's what she wanted. But that was the only place I could find it. I even went to Walgreens, couldn't find it. And then the last place I went was CVS just to see. Plus I also had to get the, the sodas. So. so I got the sodas that would be under, I put that under my food category and I did two different transactions. Um, the first one, which cost $5, was actually the 12 cans of sodas because my mom, well, I guess you would say it's not technically soda, it's ginger ale, but my mom wanted ginger ale and she doesn't like the one liter sodas. So I got, got her that and it was my treat because she was, she was at home cooking the meal. So I got that. And then after I finished paying, 
I was about to leave the store and I realized, oh, I forgot my soda. But I didn't, I don't have a preference whether it's canned or litered. So I got myself, uh, they were having a sale by two Coca-Colas and it'll be 250 and it's regularly two something for just one. So with tax, it came out to be 267. So that's what I spent on Thanksgiving, thankfully. And for the first time in a long time, I did not go out that day because usually I go Black Friday shopping, which in the recent years, it's been Black Thursday shopping. <laughs> because they've been opening early. So I didn't go, but it still was, I, I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed not going out. I enjoyed just relaxing, enjoying my day, eating my cheesecake. Oh, I thought I got to mention, I also got a gift card from my job for $25. That's what paid for my cheesecake and my mom's custard pie coconut custard pie so no money out of there and I had like four dollars and change left over so excited about that so the 27th I didn't spend anything wonderful and then the 28th I did spend on McDonald's which was under food I I have like a weird obsession with food I mean not weird but like I like eating outside for some reason and I need to cut that down I'm like wasting money on that Whew. I need to do better in the coming year but we'll see when I get to my goals when I set out my goals for next year so that was all I spent on the 28th and then the 29th I did get some gas which was this color the light blue I went to racetrack and I used my get upside to get some money back from getting gas because I had to get it anyway 15.35. And that was the only thing I, well, actually that's not the only thing I spent. I forgot I got groceries that day too. And my groceries color, I, went, I did Walmart pickup. And that was 91.22. And this was actually my last transaction for the month. Aren't you guys excited for me? <laughs> I get to put down another no spend sticker. I was starting off the halfway point of being done with the no spends. So that was the end of my monthly layout. You guys can see kind of kind of like a shadow, but let's see how many no spend days I had this month. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18 no spend days. Yay! I think that's way more than last month. I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Darn! I had one less no spend day than I did last month, which it's still all right. As long as I can get some no spend days, I'm happy. I'm just gonna have to do better in December, which um, is gonna be hard. I'm not gonna lie. December is not only Christmas time, it's also my birthday month. So 
Um, I'm going to try, but I'm not going to guarantee anything. But I will try. That I can guarantee. I will try not to overspend. But it's so hard for me because I love buying gifts for my family. Not so much myself, but my family. And I like to spoil, especially my mom, because, you know, she's my mom and she's taking care of me and she's always spoiled me. And, you know, I guess as you get older, you want to spoil your parents back. So I tend to do that with my mom. <laughs> so, you know, we'll see. We'll see. So in the next clip, I'm going to show you the totals for my weekly expenses. All right, guys. I do apologize for the shadow. All right. So luckily there wasn't that many. I've been working on cutting it back, so I'm going to calculate the food, which every week seems to be more food category than anything else. So let's see what we got. Groceries. Groceries was only $91.22. And then eating out, my most used category. 267 plus five. Oh, I forgot to mention the reason it's five dollars is because I rounded it up. Um, they were doing um, something in CBS about donations for a particular cause. That's why it's five dollars. So 267 plus five plus seven, 48. That's why I just wanted to tell you because <laughs> my math isn't that good to know that <laughs> to get anything to five dollars exactly so plus it's the holiday so i wanted to give the total i spent on eating out was 15 15. and then of course we had shopping trip which was nothing and then gas which is 15.35 which was pretty good. I did pretty good. I stayed below my groceries. I stayed I stayed pretty well in the eating out category. And the gas I'm always under. So where do I deserve a gold star? Probably the groceries. I've been working on staying at 100 or, or under 100. So is there anything? Sorry. You guys didn't see me write it. All right. I did select groceries, as you guys heard. Is there anything I need to do better next week? <laughs> Probably the thing I write every week. Try, try not to spend on food. Which, you know, you always have those weak moments when it comes to food, at least I do. And it's not purposely, it's just, it's just that I have, I, I get into these moods. So this was my last weekly expense for the month of November, the next the next this is my last weekly expense for the month of november in my next video i'm going to be showing you my budget review so definitely come back and watch i'll see you guys in the next one oh i forgot to mention don't forget to subscribe if you want to be a part of my youtube family and hit like hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this one i'll see you guys in the next one bye